What's going on YouTube? How you guys doing today? So in this video, I'll be explaining how I made this device I have on my arm right here. It's basically a wrist mounted paintball gun, but uh, I've designed it and fitted it to my arm in such a way that acts like a Spider-Man web shooter. So I've made web shooter videos before, and if you follow this channel, you know that. Now, while a lot of people do like those, um, some people felt it was repetitive. So I'm attempting to please everyone here with this build I have right here. Um, it's a little bit different design, still a web shooter. And of course, it does something really cool. Also, Instagram giveaways, if you want some web shooters, head on over to my Instagram. Uh, it's not gonna be this type. I've made smaller ones in the past, as some of you may know. Um, so go check those out down below. So yeah, I hope you find this video entertaining. I'm gonna walk you through the process of how I made it the best I could. I filmed as much as I could, but uh, some of the steps I'll just explain at the end, because obviously this is the first time I've ever made one of these and I didn't know what I was doing when I made it. So yeah, really cool project to do. Let's get into it. There we go guys, we are left with our wrist mounted Spider-Man web shooter. Check this thing out, I think it looks really cool. Um, so let me walk you through some of the parts that I wasn't able to show you in the montage and uh, explain a little bit about how it works. So housed inside of this old Camelback backpack, we have the main components of the web shooter. And that is the valve system that runs off of a propane tank. So right here, as you can see, we've got a $3 propane cylinder. Um, I chose this obviously because it's pretty inexpensive and uh, it is flammable as well, which uh, gives me some more ideas. So the system that I made, basically it's just a propane adapter valve, uh, modified slightly. I don't know if I was able to show it, but basically all I did to this uh, in particular piece right here was just hollowed it out. There was this little tiny ball valve in here that stopped the propane from coming out too fast. Of course, we had to take this ball out, um, which means propane now rushes out of here whenever it's screwed in. So this small little tank right here is pressurized. So I basically just used some uh, pressurated tubing and some hose clamps to connect it to this uh, piece of, I believe it's just some half inch threaded pipe. That fits into uh, a few more fittings to reduce it down to uh, the electronic valve switch, which uh, runs off of two nine volts. Then we have a little bit of hose connected here, which runs down 
to the backpack arm, down here, and out to our arm. And we also have a switch that controls this valve, um, as you can see, runs down, connects to the batteries, um, runs out here to this handpiece. All right, so the propane tank just fits in here, and this flap just comes down, clips in like so, super simple. Um, and we have the valve sticking a little bit out of the top, but uh, that's totally fine. Batteries just stick into this little pouch right here. Um, you can zip it up so they're not gonna fall out. Just the wires are sticking out. Um, and we have the switch that runs down along with the tube uh, to the hand. Um, so we're left with this tube right here. So this tube just uh, fits right into this hose valve. Um, I built it so it all comes disconnected pretty easily, which helps with like transportation. And uh, if there's ever a problem, I can fix it super easily. Um, so this piece wraps around your arm. Uh, it's got some Velcro straps on it. Um, so I'm gonna disconnect the hose for now, but I'll show you the arm mechanism. Um, so this piece mounts on your lower, like forearm, just wraps around. I attached a little bit of straps, just like that. And last piece we have is this barrel right here. Um, so basically what I did is I took a metal pipe, actually from my old garden light. Um, I found that this fits paintballs really well. Um, it doesn't allow them to roll right through, it just fits them nice and snug. So if we grab a paintball, as you can see, it will fit inside, but I have to push it around, um, which means it has a really good seal, which will allow the propane to shoot it out a lot faster um, than obviously if it was a loose seal. So we have our uh, paintball loaded. As you can see on the sides, I've just attached some more clear tubes uh, with some more paintballs inside. Unfortunately, the thing is not fully automatic. Uh, maybe version two will be. But for now, I just have these two hoppers uh, that I can get paintballs out of. They're snug, like they're not gonna fall out if you shake it or anything, but uh, if you need it, they are pretty easy to take out. You can dig them out with your fingernail pretty easily. And yeah, just pull them out when you need them. So I wrapped a little bit of tape around the end of the uh, barrel, modified this hose valve to some PVC fitting that uh, will accept this barrel. So uh, super easily, this thing just slips on in here like that, airtight, not gonna go anywhere. Um, and I have it like this, uh, one, again, so if it ever breaks, I can fix it easily, and two, so if you ever wanna load it, you don't wanna load it down the front and uh, get like a rod and push it down, another way to do it is to unclip the back, just like that, and load in a paintball, like so, and then just stick it back in um, it is a faster, a little bit faster way of loading it. Just give you a few options. Now let's move on to the switch. Um, so the switch comes off, I showed you before, it just comes off of the valve attached to the two batteries, um, right down to this piece right here. Um, it's just a little momentary switch, push button uh, hidden in some nylon band that uh, slips around my thumb. So this switch basically just slides down over my thumb, um, so it's finger activated. I have a band connected to it too. Um, and what this does, this doubles as holding the switch wire in place and also it wraps around the barrel um, to give the barrel a little bit more stability so it doesn't wiggle around on my wrist too much. And yeah, it just fits nicely over the barrel. Um, so everything is locked in place and ready to go. And actually another thing you can do is uh, put this wire underneath uh, this band as well. So uh, just a little bit more protection so it won't get caught. And um, the last step, of course, is to hook up our gas. So you just grab this tube back here and uh, plug it into the valve right here. Just like that, and uh, the switch is ready to go. Got some paintballs loaded. I don't wanna shoot it now because I destroyed my camera, but what do you say, let's go test this thing out. Oh, thought I was gonna do it, didn't ya? Got him. I have, uh, pretty sure I have two paintballs loaded in here, actually. Let's try it anyway. Holy. All right guys, well that's pretty much the video. I hope you did enjoy it. Once again, smash that thumbs up button if you did like it. Uh, subscribe to this channel for more cool projects just like this. If you have any ideas of your own, drop them down below. Always love reading them. I think this is a really cool device. It kind of mimics like Spider-Man's like web bullets. 
Um, it's not exactly like streams of web, but uh, it's kind of more like his web bullets. Kind of what I was going for with the uh, whole paintball splatter effect. I think it looks really cool. Plus with the new Spider-Man Homecoming movie coming out, uh, I thought this would be a perfect time to do this project. And so that's it for today. Once again, I hope you did like it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.